see. So yeah, um, it takes one day at a time, one day at a time. You can't rush the process of anything. You can't rush the process of uh, self-love at all. You know, we all have our thing, whatever that is. So, like for me, for me, it used to be the chest area. Like, when it comes to the physical shit anyway, it used to be the chest area because it's like, man, you know, damn. <laughs> I hope when I get older, I look more like a woman type shit. I don't know. But I never really cared. Let's see. It was only brought to my attention because of the opposite sex being rude as fuck, to be honest. With the opposite sex being rude as fuck, then that was brought to my attention. But then it's like, you also too get like the same sex pointing certain things out on your body or whatever, try to get yourself self-conscious and, and, and it's insecure, whatever the fuck. Back in the day, like in the school days, middle school days, like I wouldn't give a fuck about shaving, like shave what? I don't give a fuck, like whatever, you know? I wouldn't shave my legs, I wouldn't shave nothing, I don't care. Who I gotta impress? I ain't gotta impress nobody. And like, all of a sudden one day, I think it was like the first day of school or something like that, I don't know, first week, whatever. There was a new girl, and the teacher was like, yo, you know, show her around the classroom, you know, make her feel warm and shit. So that's what I did, because, you know, I'm nice like that. So I showed her around and even helped her a little bit with the work we would be doing or whatever. So that was whatever. Then I left it alone. I went back to my own little station. And I stayed to myself, because that's what I do, I stayed to myself. Come lunch, we're in the lockers. And she made a new friend, you know? So I see her confidence like boosted up and she's talking more like, okay, cool, whatever. I don't give a fuck, because I stayed to myself anyway. I'm vibing now and um, I'm at my locker. I come back to my locker, I'm walking down the island out the blue out the blue she's like yo yo is that hair on your legs i'm like what you mean so <laughs> i thought it was silly i i didn't i didn't get the joke i didn't get like what she was trying to do there so i was like okay weirdo you know damn you're the new girl slow down like you made a new friend, that's what's up. And I thought we were cool because I've showed you around. And, um, you know how people be real when you first be in school, so. I was like, all right. Why is she looking at me so hard? Why is she looking at me so damn hard? You know? Hold up. Fuck all that shit. Why is she looking at my legs that hard? Like, she attracted to my legs or what? <laughs> I'm like, man, look, why is she looking at my legs? Why is she looking at my damn legs? So I don't know why, when I got home, I still couldn't understand it. I'm like, okay. No, nobody ever says shit about my legs at all. Like, nobody, no girl, no guy, nobody, not even my family, no, well, except, except for my father, actually growing up, knowing that my father, you know, he would be like, you know, oh, you got white legs just like me. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Why is that even a thing? Why do you have to say that for it to be a thing? You know, because I always cover my legs. I always have pants on. I always have pants on or whatever. Sorry guys, I had to continue to talk about legs and shit because I had another girl in the fucking locker room. So I'm like, you know, I'm just peeing. Anyway. 
but let me finish the story just for, you know, folksy sake, folksy sake, so, my legs, right, my legs, my legs, my legs, so, I, for a short period of time, I was a little insecure about my legs, a short period of time, but it's like, no guy ever said shit about it, they didn't give a fuck, <laughs> Male friend or not male friend, they did not give two shits about my fucking legs. They didn't give a fuck about my legs. So I figured I didn't know until years later that she was just being petty because she thought maybe I was petty as fuck or whatever the hell and she was just jealous as hell. So she was trying to desperately find something to pick on me about. So she looked at my legs and was like, Oh, she got hair in her legs. So she started to pick on that shit. So that's what she did. She started picking on that shit. You know? Goofy shit, goofy shit, so. Um, but back then, I didn't know that, so I just kind of, that's kind of what with the flow, like, you know. But then I would have homegirls, too, in middle school, right? That, um, they would get on my shoes because I wasn't wearing the latest, um, shoe brands or whatever. What kind of shoes are those? What are those? I'm like, no, man, look. I wasn't one to really wear, like, clothes, name brand, stuff like that. Especially not shoes. I would just wear shit that's comfortable. You know, like, comfortable shit. Comfortable clothes. Comfortable shoes. I don't care about nothing else. I would wear, like, just comfortable clothes, comfortable shoes. But, like... Man, the homegirls I would roll with back in middle school, like, they be annoying sometimes, because, like, they always gotta say something about my damn shoes. Like, look, we're going into the new grade, right? Like, you know, yeah, we passed that grade, yeah, yeah, woo, woo. Now we're about to go into the last grade before we go into high school. Oh my God, oh my God. Girl, you gotta get some different shoes. I don't know what you gotta do. I'm like, look, what the fuck? Why are you always talking about my damn shoes? I thought you were my friend. Like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we would like talk on the phone sometimes and, you know, we'd be excited about the new grade, but they would be so petty sometimes. They get, they get their petty moments. They have their petty moments. Like, look, if you really feel that way about my shoes, man, buy me some shoes then. So you can shut up about it, like, for real. I never gave a fuck personally, but for some reason... They were, like, so passionate about me having some different motherfucking shoes. <laughs> but hear me out, though. No guy, no, even no other girls were saying shit at all. It was just them. My so-called friends, right? My so-called friends. I don't fucking know. My so-called friends, right? So. But now they were just my associates that I hang out with in school. When I would wait till class would start. And you know, just being silly before class start, whatever the hell. These are just people I would laugh and shit with. Like, look, I never gave a shit, honestly. Like, cause I was always cool with being by myself. Always, always. I had no problem. Like, I had no problem being by myself. Like, I really, really do. I had no problem being by myself. You know, I would hang out with them because I figured they were lonely. You know, they were always bugging me and bothering me. Like, hey, why are you over there? It's not complete when you're not with us. You know, it's got to be a trinity here. Like, I don't know. We just be silly, like... We don't really take nothing serious like that, but for some reason, you know, they don't take nothing serious. They'll always take my shoes serious. Like, you know what? Fucking have my shoes here. <laughs> Buy me some new shoes and here. Have my shoes. Like, for real. Yes, we're by ourselves. Oh, fuck. Two women. Two women came in here and they were giving them, like, I had a special for damn subject, girl. When my subjects be, like, real deep, like, Sometimes I will, you know, come up the surface for some fresh air and talk about some, you know, other shit. But I, I wanted to, I still wanted to touch on um, my past insecurities or whatever, you know, coming up, you know, as Niara Naboo, 
It's like, look. Mind your own beastness. Mind your own beastness. Love every stage of yourself. And for those who like to embarrass others as a career, as a hobby, as a hobby, as a hobby, as a hobby, me out. You ain't embarrassing nobody. Cause I can switch anything up into a parody. And have you cracking up in the whole world too. Look, why is embarrassing others your career? Why is being awkward and weird and staring people down and stealing people's energy your career? What are you getting out of it? That's fucking weird. Okay? That's fucking weird, dude. What? You had no attention in school or something? Look. You're looking at somebody who had homegirl associates, we'll call them homegirl associates, okay, who got on Niara Nabu about what the fuck she was wearing. Let me tell you, let me tell you a story, a story about one day, one day in middle school, I went inside my old classroom, right? That was my first class. We have like seven to six classes in a day. An hour each. Don't know how they did it, but they did. Now, my first class was the art class, right? You know, I love art. We did origami, and it was very lovely for me. Now, I came in there wearing what I wore. I wore this beautiful flowing antique-ish green skirt and I had on an interesting shirt you know I always had my own style of my own kind no matter the fuck what anybody ever thought about me fuck you fuck you Neil yeah. somebody called me Harriet Tubman walking inside that art class from middle school Someone called me Harriet Tubman. And it wasn't in good spirits either. They were trying to ride on me. Ride. No, that was their demons riding on them. Hating on me. Because they recognized who I truly was. Or truly like. My spirit was like a Harriet Tubman. My spirit was so strong like Harriet Tubman. They couldn't touch me because they couldn't phase me because I'm like Harriet Tubman. Fuck you, bitches. You either ride with me or you don't. Thugging it like Harriet Tubman. Because Harriet Tubman was thugging it, all right? I'm giving her her flowers in case no one else did. Fuck y'all, bitches. I'm giving Harriet Tubman her flowers, okay? Harriet Tubman deserves her fucking flowers. She kept, yeah. So, the demons inside of the people in middle school back then, and it was, guess who called me Mar Harriet Tubman? Guess what gender called me Harriet Tubman? Guess, guess, guess. It was a male. A male called me Harriet Tubman. Called himself trying to bully me in school or whatever, sexually assault me in school and shit. Like, I had a lot of weirdos, dude. Like, throughout school, weirdos. Throughout life, really, weirdos. But the concentration of weirdos was in this facility they call, it's a prison slash institution called school. It's a prison. For children, it's a. It could be many things. But overall, it's a prison for children. 
for teenagers, for young adults. And they wonder why they act out and get into fights and cuss out teachers and they just wonder why. Oh no. It's because refer back to the movie I mentioned with the Amazon wild woman. How they kidnapped her from the forest, however they did, and brought her back to their land, which is not their land at all, to their church to try to conform her, to keep her. I'm not going to talk about that again because, you know, her experience, I can relate to a whole lot. Just like how I can relate a whole lot to the Virgin Mary. I can relate a whole lot to Harriet Tubman. Dude, these motherfucking devils, these motherfucking demons that be hopping into everybody throughout my life, throughout every age of my life, they recognize what kind of spirit was that I was. They recognize how fucking powerful and strong I was. They recognized I was a leader kind of spirit. Like, I was the type of person who respected their elders, you know, who liked their own company, who didn't care for friends like that, who didn't care for being rode on, whatever the fuck these, you know, <laughs> the children of that day, in the middle school age, high school, that they cared about. I didn't really care about what the fuck they were talking about. I wasn't on the same vibe as nobody around me like that. I was on the Niara vibe. Whatever Niara vibe was, I was on the Niara vibe. I was on the me vibe. Staying in tune with myself at all times vibe. You know. And, uh, look. These demons already knew who the fuck I was. And to top it off, the fact that I had an experience on basically walking on water. Basically. 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 I walked on water. I was walking in the middle of the ocean, vibing with the dolphins, vibing with the whales, vibing, 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 vibing with the dolphins, vibing with the whales, vibing, 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 vibing with the dolphins, vibing with the whales, vibing, 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 vibing with the dolphins, vibing with the whales, vibing, 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 vibing. Vibing with the dolphins, vibing with the whales, vibing, 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 vibing with the dolphins, vibing with the whales, vibing, 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 vibing with the dolphins, vibing with the whales, vibing, 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 vibing with the dolphins, vibing with the whales, vibing, 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 vibing. I was vibing, baby. 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 Anyway, I'm not trying to put this into part five because I think I'm in part four now. I don't know. But anyway, now you girl getting sleepy. And I wanted to have a nightcap with y'all for a little bit. And um, I'm probably never going to go live, to be honest. But... I might go live. Uh, I'll go live when I'm actually in person with y'all. That's how live I'll be. But live on here, the trolls don't want it. The trolls don't want it. The trolls, the trolls literally don't want it. Mm -mm. These trolls do not want it. Because first of all, I'm not going to disrespect the flow of my ancestors like that by 
being on live. And, you know, of course I want to interact with you guys and everything. It's just, I'm not trying to mix my energy like that while I'm flowing. I'm not about to do that. I have to respect at all times, me, myself, and I, what I got going on. So, that's where I'm trying. That's where I'm trying. <laughs> okay. As you can see, all black, everything, all black, all black. Got my octopus as always. But yeah. Out here chilling in the middle of the ocean, man. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to talk about that movie anymore because I get mad emotional. So, but I wanted to talk about that in relation with, um, in relation to Virgin Mary, in relation to hmm, myself. And yeah, so, anyway, I got a fucking piss, bro, and I'm not trying to have you guys... Look at me personally, little. Ooh. <laughs> so very shit. Wait, is that her booty? Is that her booty? Anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Until I get my place, y'all, because. y'all go I just wanted to have a quick nightcap with y'all I'm glad we didn't really get interrupted like that this time I'm so happy about that we did not get interrupted like that this time I'm so happy I'm glad I stayed right where I was I wasn't trying to be cold outside or nothing was not trying to be cold outside like at all but anyway guys i love y'all get plenty of rest i love you i love you i love you mm. 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 yeah i do that to my child all the time right before i go to sleep let me see that forehead. Mwah. Let me see the cheeks. Mwah. Mwah. Let me see your chin. Let me get that chin. Mwah. You know. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna let y'all go. And until next time, I'll be um. Oh shit. Let's just play by ear okay let's just play by ear <laughs> all right till next time guys i love you stay safe out there and don't let your community don't let any community that you come from define your individuality you know that's the overall message of these videos don't let your communities define who you are individually. Always stay in tune with yourself. Mind your own beastness. Mind your own what? Beastness. Mind your own what? Beastness. Hey, mind your own what? Beastness. Mind your own what? Beastness. Mind your own what? Beastness. Mind your own what? But beastness. Mind your own what? But beastness. Mind your own what? But beastness. Mind your own what? Beastness. You know. Anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go. Okay. <laughs> I love y'all, Peace, y'all.